my career. Uh, my name is Krishnakant. Okay, the questions to actually, it's a very <laughs> normal question. In Sweden, we have uh, like, you know, the decentralized district cooling and we are net uh, importers of waste actually. You know, that's a strange thing in this world. And uh, in India, aren't there any solutions for retail? Like uh, Mr. Pillai was saying that, you know, uh, every apartment or everything in, uh, will have a solar rooftop or, you know, uh, so that you know, much of the dependence on is on a very wholesale solution of you know producing electricity at some place and then distributing in Sweden. For example, Hammerby shows that we have this uh, cycle of you know taking waste from the homes, uh, making electricity and then distributing it as electricity. So that there are three companies working in that area. So don't we? And especially in, when we are talking about smart cities and all those stuff, right? Uh, so this can't be implemented at a, aren't there solutions that you know the waste at the house or at the district level is collected and then it's generated and then you know at the same level or is the equipment not cheap or hasn't it caught up or there can be incentives like you know the uh, re reduction in rate of interest for loans for uh, such smart houses or something like that I mean so everything like for example recently we have seen Cochin airport is 100% solar run they were saying and DMRC was experimenting with this rooftop stuff so the retail solutions why haven't they really caught up actually you want me to answer the waste to energy being a challenge around the world uh, mainly because of the constant heat rate doesn't come when you burn and try to run a gas plant or anything but the late last five seven years the incineration technology you don't need to even actually segregate waste in india culturally it will be impossible for people to segregate waste into four bins or five bins and ask them to do that hmm? Mr. Pillay, but the fact is, the Swedish people will tell you that 60 years ago, it wasn't the done thing even in Sweden. Habits change, and we, they can be changed. We, 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 we uh, f four or five plants which are built in India, none of them are successfully running. On the cost part of it, we have done a study very recently. It costs something like um, $4 million average uh, per megawatt waste to energy, the, the technology which I told you, incineration technology. I don't know, uh, there are Siemens, uh, their technology, which, which is just talked about how much it costs, whereas uh, normal thermal cost half a million dollar per megawatt. So, but looking at the larger picture, the electricity regulator should be able to pass on that in a city like uh, 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 where average uh, people produce uh, one kilo something uh, you said 100, 100 megawatt or two, 150 megawatt you can produce in india uh, in delhi with the waste so delhi consumes 6000 megawatt in so 150 megawatt if you are going to pay a higher rate uh, double the rate of coal power it's not people are not going to become poorer we, we need debate we need discussions on this at the, at policy making level <laughs> yes but it is sort of a, a solution would be a solution to what, what do you do with the waste today there is, a, there is yeah. there's somewhere to sort of yeah, my, my get rid of the waste and, and then at the same time you get your power and, and cooling. But I, I realize the cost of, of generating the, the gas. It's, uh, it's a different uh, part, yes. Uh, uh, yeah. Existing waste yeah. is put in landfills. It's uh, big and at times it burned. Like two weeks ago in Bombay, uh, it burned and it was a major issue. It's a big problem, a big problem. And uh, $70 per ton is the cost around the world, in particularly developing countries. In India, I don't know the exact number, it varies, but uh, it's a big cost. If you factor that into power, uh, the city governments in many places, last month I was in China, I'm told 700 towns, I visited actually one of these plants, the incineration technology in Haiko city, uh, a 24 megawatt plant operating and another one they are going to commission soon. So it consumes about 2,900 tons, which the city produces every day. Everything goes into that, and uh, the number which I told you about the seven, uh, it cost about four million per megawatt. From with that number, I, I told you. So uh, we have three, four around Delhi. First one we built sometime in 1970s, which never operated. There are two more which are not in very successful condition. So, <laughs> Frederick. Yes, uh, is this this one off? We'll be. Um, we already do that, but we do it at, at a smaller scale. We do for a wee school in Mumbai, for instance, their canteen. Uh, we provide uh, gas, after we buy gas, we've installed a, a seven, eight cubic meter uh, unit there for them. They are more or less totally self-sufficient. It's been running for, for more than a year. It works perfectly well. 
we do in the same in Bangalore. Uh, we will do in Delhi uh, at, at the Hotel Sheraton fairly soon. Uh, and this can be scaled up, but I totally agree with you. What has to come down is the investment cost. And you're talking about a couple of million US dollars. Uh, I think for we school that was not remembering correctly, but seven or ten thousand uh, dollars, and and that and they that the payback is uh, I think uh, two years, two to three years, in in their case. Then on the other hand, if you want to transform this into electricity, then you need a generator. But if you already have a diesel generator, you can convert it. Um, so it is possible, but it has to come down, and and that is what we are trying. Our main focus is to try. Uh, not to, to, to lobby for higher subsidies or things like that, but to decrease the cost uh, and, and the investment. Um, and th that is actually uh, what FOV Biogas is all about. And, and we are getting quite a lot of, of support and, and uh, enthusiasm uh, in India for what we do. Excellent. The cost will come down with the volumes, and for volumes to pick up, there has to be regulation. At policy level, we had to make it mandatory for certain categories of buildings or customers. Mm. So that's what we are doing, okay, make things mandatory, then only things will happen. Mm. Okay. Can questions? I add something on that what, with the investment costs and stuff? Uh, I, I think one of the things when it comes to, to biogas is that uh, Traditionally, it's been based on, on very big uh, in installation, and that is where you get the economy from. Uh, I think you have to be able to scale it to have a small, medium, and large size and still make financial sense, and, and that we can do, for instance. Thank you for a very interesting discussion. I'm Rishabh, uh, and I had two questions. One was in the Andaman, it's you know beautiful ocean. Was there any possibility to have tidal energy or any uh, energy from the ocean? Um, and the other question I had was, uh, we know that solar and also wind to some extent is viable financially, but why is it even today consumer financing is so little or almost negligible? especially low-cost low financing. Could you tell us a bit more about debt financing available for renewable energy projects? Sure. Okay. I can take that, yeah. mm -hmm. So uh, there are various kinds of financings available for renewable energy projects, and uh, I don't know uh, why you say it is not uh, as much, because if you look at the, the majority of renewable energy financings in India uh, have been through external commercial borrowings, not so much through domestic debt. Off late domestic debt has become more active with you know, some Indian banks willing to lend because Indian banks never understood renewable energy for them because they had a conventional power background. They just couldn't understand how, how you, know, you could generate uh, power and what the risks were from renewable energy projects. So the interna international banks have led the whole debt financing uh, for, in, uh, for renewable energy in India and now a lot of domestic banks are, are doing so. So there is ample, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, sources of funds for, for funding. I don't see debt, uh, uh, source of debt as an, as an issue. What I see is the risks that lenders, uh, you know, see in these projects and what kind of sponsor supports they, they end up asking, which becomes a uh, more, uh, more difficult discussion uh, for these projects. It's not the availability of money. Money is there. I'd like to add, the banks have been recently asked to take the rooftop PV cost into the house building loan. So you get it at the same house building loan rate. So uh, and, or, or, or pay back over the 20 year or 30 year, whatever you take the loan for the house building. So as a government have told banks to do that, the government banks are already doing it. And also on tidal energy, the question you had, see electricity is a heavily regulated sector in India. I mean, you cannot just start while you can start generating power without uh, really having a, a license or a permission, for someone to be able to buy that power, it has to follow certain guidelines and procedures. Now, tidal energy regulations are still being developed. There are a couple of uh, uh, policies, uh, you know, around the, that some coastal states have come up with, but it is still not a, a regulation that is widely accepted by the purchasing entity. So you have you're generating power, you have to sell power, right? Unless you're looking at a captive consumer kind of base where again, uh, you know, you have to have a framework, a regulatory framework to support that. 
And also when it comes to, just yes, one small detail when it comes to the uh, tidal uh, wave energy, uh, Swedish company Seabase, they're actually right now working on uh, putting up an in a pilot installation of their wave, uh, technolo wave power technology at the Andaman Islands. And uh, so when the policies are there, there might be also be a technical uh, technology for it. <coughs> <coughs> 